And now we come to the administrator of Eternal. With her snake-like hair in her monster form that can turn people into stone like she is a sister or a descendant of Medusa. I only said that just to make a little pun. But anyhow, today we're going to be talking about Anaconda. So let's get started. Anaconda is a middle-aged woman with purple hair resembling a gorgon's. She is an administrator of Mon Eternal, always telling other employees what they should do and controlling where objects they bring her. She also she always claims to port papers from other members, and it's very strict about them. Anaconda comes from the fifth season of Pretty Cure. Yes, Pretty Cure 5, go go. She made her debut in episode 2 of the season and comes from Eternal. She has the power of a Gorgon, can use energy blasts, and summon Hiroshinas. She is voiced by Chiori Yamagata in the series. In her more presentable form, Anaconda has purple snakes for hair. She has piercing small green eyes, pale skin, and red lips. She wears a green coat with orange linings adorned with an orange scarf. She also wears this with a black leather belt and wears a yellow neck neckerchief under it. She also wears yellow leggings with black boots. Anna Condi was a judgmental woman who took her job as a vice executive very seriously. She would often fight with other employees, notably Nebatakos and Shibaretta about reports. She also demanded that the items they brought her were high quality and real. Often she came off as biased, such as only accepting Marcardia's holiday off request by rejecting Bumbies. She loved the boss and did everything possible to make him happy, including turning the cures into stone. And Nakandi seems to love the boss but gets extremely jealous and furious when he thinks of Flora. She is heartbroken when he rejects her harshly, which leads to her death. Anaconda hates Flora and wishes she was dead. She finds that Flora is the cause of the fraction between the boss's relationship with her. Because of her job, Preacher will always be her enemy. She seems to have an ongoing war, especially between Milky Rose, Possibly because her human form looks like Flora. It, remain, it reminds her of Flora and she hates her. Nebitakos and Anaconda. She sees him as lazy and a slob. She finds him quite incompetent so far as to turn his headphones into stone. She eventually fires him in episode 24. Anaconda and Shibrietta mutually hate each other and have arguments over time mainly because she also loves the boss. Anaconda at first favors him as the, he's rather useful member of the organization, but she starts to act coldly to him after he begins failing in his schemes. Anaconda finds Bumby as a lousy member and always disregards him regardless of how hard he works. She even once tries to finish him off by sending him to the basement. Prior to the season, Anaconda wiped the Syrup's memories as he was trying to deliver a letter from Flora to Boss. Anaconda was first seen in Episode 2 after Scorp's failure. Like Kawaiino, she never really got much action until the ending, but it is quite obvious that she is far stronger than the others. Other than that she was mostly seen ordering, scolding, and punishing other members, or when she tried to finish off Bombay by sending him to the basement in episode 39. It becomes obvious that she, as the season progresses, she deeply is in love with the bo with boss. Even willing to use up all her stamina to turn the cures into stone in aiding 
and adding it to her collection. However, she was angered by the fact that Boss did not care about her effort, as he would only think of Flora. Heartbroken, she attacked him, but was easily and mercifully destroyed. Boss last saw the Anaconda's figure reaching towards him before his own demise. Once altered into her true form, she has great strength, especially in hand-to-hand -hand combat. She can petrify her victims into stone. She could even easily defeat Milky Rose. She also can summon Hiroshinas and send out powerful energy blasts. Her voice actress Kari Yamagata later voiced Utori Tamaki in Doki Doki Pretty Cure and Queen Pumpkin in Go Princess Pretty Cure Go Go Gorgeous Triple Feature and wrote one of the three acts of the later movie. And that was Anaconda. Next time we get to the main boss of this season. That being, you know, boss. And then I'll talk about the pretty cure allies since they show up in this season. And once that's over, it's finally time to get to the Yes 5 and Go Go analysis. Check out the pretty care analysis for that if you are on Wattpad, just for people who are on Wattpad. But I'll link it for like everyone who's watching the video. And so on, when that's done, we'll get into fresh pretty care. And be done with the pre curl sequel since Gogo -Go was the last one, so anyhow, enough blabbering since you know all the next with my plans for this, with what's coming up. I'll see you next time. Stay tuned for those if you're interested. Goodbye.